Good morning. Welcome to the show. Uh, my name is Jerry Chen from MicroSemi RFIS Transistor Solution. Uh, in the next half hour, I'm going to present the new GAN technology that MicroSemi leveraged upon to develop the power plant. Specifically for avionics and radar applications. So here's the agenda of the topic we're cover. First, we're going to briefly go over the GAN technology advantages. Then we're going to look at the GAN transistor that we developed for avionics and radar market. And also what product we released this year for MicroSemi. We're actually releasing 24 brand new power transistors for avionics and radar market. So very high power, some driver stages, the full lineup for avionics and, mar and radar markets. We we'll also look at uh, the, the vertical integration of MicroSemi, utilize it again, and we'll do a quick brief summary. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. First, let's talk about the GAN technology. The advantage of GAN on silicon carbide substrate, because the physical property of the GAN allow us to build a power transistor with a much higher uh, power density, much higher power. The breakdown voltage of these devices can go above 240 volts to 400 volts. And so we operate, we allow us to operate at a higher operating voltage, for example 50 volts, 65 volts, because the breakdown voltage is so high. And because of the band gap capability, we allow us to build a power transistor a very stabilized temperature stability and also can operate extremely well in elevated temperature. Furthermore, the thermal conductivity is three times in this traditional silicon base, either LDMOS or silicon bipolar. So when we build such, such a high power density devices in the small package, it gives us the advantage to dissipate the heat rather quickly. So it's extremely well designed for high power transistor applications. Now, let's look at traditionally if, if you want to build an S band 27 to 2.9 gigahertz air traffic control radar, you use, if you want to meet uh, 12 dB of gain, 500 watts of power amplifier or module, traditionally you have to use bipolar transistor. So, bipolar transistor, this frequency band only about 170 watts for a single transistor. Now, you have to combine four of them to produce the output of 500 watts then each transistor only about 7 dB of gain, then you need to add, add a driver stage to make up the, the, the combiner loss, to make up the 12 dB uh, of gain, to accomplish the 500 watts of spec. Now, with gain power transistor, MicroSemi has one model called 2729, which means 2.7 to 2.9 gigahertz. GN means gallon nitride, 500, which means 500 watts output. One device can replace all five transistors in this application. So many industry experts value the technology, look at several uh, key factors, they call it swap, size, weight, and power. So we'll add one more, size, weight, power, and efficiency. So through all the presentation you will look at, it, you will find that the game power transistor advantages, size, weight, power, and efficiency. Now let's look at the size. Same specification, 2.7, 2.9, 12 dB, again, 500 watts module or amplified. Traditionally, use a transistor, one driver to drive four, so you can see the rather big size. But now, with the GAN technology, all this will be replaced by one single transistor. So greatly reduce the size of the system, uh, the complexity of the system, the labor cost of the system. So size, weight, power, and efficiency will be greatly realized by using, utilizing the most advanced game technology over here. Let's talk, take a look at the again uh, evolution. In this particular frequency band, we, earlier we mentioned if using silicon bipolar with 30 years of, of effort, the highest power can accomplish about 170 watts in a single transistor. If you want to get higher power, you need to start combining. So combine two of them, you can get 300 watts. We call it 300 watts. 300p means power. Now, push further with the GAN technology. Two years ago, we start first introduced in 2011 is a 300 watts GAN transistor, a single stage, single transistor can replace the 30 years of the evolution of the, of the silicon bipolar. Then we show 400 watts. Last year, we offered 500 watts 
in the S band transistor, single stage. You can see in the two, three years time frame, the gallon nitride technology has evolved very fast. Now with a 500 watt transistor on hand, a customer can simply combine two of them to achieve a thousand watts pallet and in very small size, about a, a, a size of a business car, a three inch by three inches, to achieve thousand watts in this S-band uh, post application market. Now for Avionics radar market, we can take a look at the most common used uh, frequency band and, and segment. For example, radar, the most popular band is L-band 1.2 to 1.4 and S-band 2.7 to 2.9. Now for Avionics, we have uh, several applications on the Avionics side. Uh, this tech end for broader band 960 to 1215 megahertz. There's uh, uh, a narrow band 1030 to 1090. One is for the IFF identified friend and foe. Uh, it's more SELM. It's a little bit rather heavy uh, pose, heavy duty cycle. And also we have the traditional MOLES for TCAS, which is a narrow pose, low duty cycle, 20 to 30 microsecond, one or two percent. So in these five traditional market segments, the best bipolar transistor can do is here, like L-band 370 watts, S-band 170 watts. For the tag end, we have uh, 350 watts, uh, IFF, for the ELM post application, 500 watts the most. Then for the TCAS, we have the 1400 watts. This is by bipolar transistor we introduced last year, which has the highest power in the market. Traditionally, it's about 1100 watts uh, from our competitors. Now with the GAN technology, you can see it, this year we introduced 24 models, always 50 volts bias. You will see the greatest benefit and the performance margin that over the traditional silicon devices. For example, in the L-band, we have the 550 watts single, single-ended single transistor, along with the 280 watts of medium power. On the S-band, we have the 500 watts, 50 volt lined up. And the uh, tech end, look at it, we have 650 watts, compared to the traditional bipolar, 350 watts. Very large performance margin here. And the IFF ELM, Long post high duty cycle, we have 750 watts and 50 volt bias. We also have a 1000 watts, the first again 1000 watts post transistor that we introduced in this MTT show that will cover the show post low duty cycle. Now, you will say, well, by the way, you still have this traditional bipolar 1400 watts that it has a better power. True, so we're working on the next generation 1400 watts, we'll introduce later. Um, but in addition to the highest power, we also have the medium power stage, 100 watts level. And then you see the 100 watts level, we add an L in the suffix. Normally these 100 watts level are the higher, uh, longer post high duty cycle, 30 milli 3 milliseconds and 30%. So that's another trend that customer wants, uh, uh, gain technology to, to improve upon is, besides the traditional uh, 300 microsecond, 10% duty cycle, in the post application, they also like to see Longer pulse, 3 milliseconds, higher duty cycle, 30%. So we are start working on that. This is our first wave of uh, long pulse, high, high duty cycle. You will see more and more devices released uh, throughout the year. Besides that, not many customers say I want whole chain, whole complete lineup. So we off also offer 20 watts a driver stage to, 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 to drive our, our upper stages. So let's take a look. We, we pick four selected feature products. Let's look at the performance on these four products. Uh, two from Avionics, the IFF and Datalink, the narrow band and broad band. Two from Radar, L-band and S-band. Let's take a look at the first one, the Avionics 1011. Covers the 1030 to 1090 megahertz. Gallon nitride 700 watts for the ELM, more S ELM, uh, which has a pretty severe uh, post format, 32 microsecond on. 80 microsecond of the show post, but the 48 of this post trend. And then uh, the overall duty cycle is about 6.4%. So first you can see the MDS500L, which is the bipolar, the best bipolar transition can accomplish in, in, on market is about 500 watts. And the input power is 60 watts to drive to get 500 watts output with 9.4 dB again. Efficiency is pretty, rather good, 57% efficiency under this high post duty cycle. But on the bottom section, you will see the game performance is much superior. We only need 5 watts input drive to get 700 watts out, which is almost 20 dB of game. 
and this is a power gain, not small signal gain. And the efficiency even more amazing is 70%, 72%. So you will see the great benefit of, of, of this gain, size, weight, power, and efficiency, right? Uh, also, another key feature compared uh, again with traditional LDMOS, we, we, we heard a lot of LDMOS over temperature issues below 30 degrees C. Their, their gain power variation seems to be about 2 to 3 dB drop. Uh, so we tested again from this extreme temperature range from minus 55 to plus 85 degrees C. And you will see the plot underneath here in this extreme temperature range, very wide temperature range, you will see very stable temperature performance about only 0.7 dB variation compared to the room temperature. Extremely stable. That's also another advantage of using the GAN devices under this extreme temperature uh, condition. Now with the 700 watts even or higher power, one can easily start combining these to achieve much higher overall performance. For example, you can combine four of them to easily achieve more than 2,000 watts, combine eight of them to achieve 4,000 watts, and then add one driver to drive them. So one driving eight. You only need a 0.6 watts input drive. You can easily get out over 4,000 watts uh, 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 power for this, for this application. There are several customers already designed in using this technology, 4,000 4, watts uh, IF amplifiers. Now let's switch gear to a, a little more broader band, also for avionics application, 960 to 1250 megahertz. Uh, traditionally, we tested 128 microseconds, 10%, standard industry post format for this application. You will see for 11 watts input drive, we can get about more than 600 watts, 650 watts output power. Also maintain very high gain, about 18 dB roughly, and very high efficiency, 50%. Similarly, with, with this device on hand, you can one driving four configuration easily. With one watt input, you can get over 2,000 watts output power. So again, another benefit of using these devices, you reduce the size, reduce the weight of the system, you greatly improve the power performance and high efficiency. Also, this, all these devices device as class AB, so have very fast rise time. Uh, and also excellent uh, fairness. You will see some of the LDMOS or other competitors devices under such a broadband, the flatness could be over one dB or one half dB. In this particular case, only 0 0.2, 0 0.3 dB flatness. Extremely flat. That's another advantage of, of gain transistors. It, it, it's suitable for broadband matching. Uh, on, the L, on, the, on the radar side, let's look at the L-band. The L-band, uh, 1.2 to 1.4 gigahertz, 300 microsecond, 10%, we have uh, introduced a 550 watts single-ended transistor at 50 volt bias this year. With 12 watts input, you can see the upper power is greater than 600 watts. Again, very high gain, 17 dB of the power gain at over 50% of the efficiency. Um, class AB, very good flatness fast rise time, one driving four configuration with one watt input, over 2,000 watts of output. Very easy to use. S-Band, we also have 500 watt devices for 100 microsecond, 10% uh, post format. Uh, because the S-Band, the gain is a little bit lower than the L-Band, but we still maintain about 12 dB of gain, above 50% efficiency. Uh, in this case, with 0.5 watts in, you need one pre-driver to drive it, so two driver stages, driving four, you can get over 1800 watts of power. This is the full 24 models that we released in this year. Uh, the covers different frequency, different application from avionics to radar, power stage, driver stage, short pulse, long pulse, low duty cycle, high duty cycle. And we have a fire on Microsemi Boost, if you're interested, that, that gives you the typical lineup and also all 24 models uh, selection guide that you can pick. I have a few pages here if you want to pick up from here too. Now, with the transistor on hand, you can easily combine, start combining two transistors to get over 1,000 watts power, right? With the S-Band, for example, 2729, 500 watts in hand, combine two of them, you go over 1,000 watts. With the L-band, 700 watts in hand, you combine two of them, you go over 1,400 watts. So these are the applications you can quickly uh, capture and use. 
Besides the power transistors, we also offer pallets in the, in the near future. Mostly these are pallets and modules are custom designed. Standard parts are the transistor. If you do have need, we can tailor your need to offer pallet, module. We also offer power amplifier uh, design. For example, the 4,000 watts IF amplifier can do that. So that's our vertical integration that Michael Sammy offered the value. So do a quick summary. The GAN technology has many advantages. High power, high gain. Fast efficiency, very small size. And very easy for broadband application. Again, size, weight, power, and efficiency. These are the four key features that we evaluate the new, new technology, new transistors. Michael Sammy introduced a full 50 volt lineup, 24 models this year, and L band, S band, all above 500 watts. And Avionics will have 750 watts for the show post low duty, low duty cycle, we have over 1,000 watts single energy transistors. Now, uh, we also offer vertical integration, mostly for customer design specific. And we have a demo unit along with the fixture that is 50 ohm matched available. If you are interested, you can contact the rep, uh, our salesperson, request the demo. We do need a little bit of program information. Then we'll, we have the demo unit for you to, to evaluate the test. Uh, of course, Richardson, uh, you can, if, if any question, you can contact Richardson, contact our salesperson. But if we also create an email called GAN at Microsemi. Very easy to remember. If you have a questions, requests, you can send us through this email, and Microsemi can, can respond. All right, so anybody have any questions? Everything is crystal clear, right? Okay, thank you guys and enjoy the show.